card one, avoiding intimacy. Pick card one, avoiding intimacy. Well, guess what? Either you or somebody that you're dating is likely avoiding intimacy. What does avoiding intimacy mean? It means we're avoiding our feelings. So you're not bothered wrong if you're avoiding your feelings, but you might be a little bit scared. When this card comes up, it's a warning that there are some feelings that either you're avoiding or the person that you're dating is avoiding and you can't keep avoiding them any longer. When we avoid certain negative feelings, they don't just go away. They actually can block us from receiving more love. So this card means take a moment and check in. Put your hand over your heart if you need to and ask yourself, is there anything I'm afraid of in my love life? Is there anything I don't want to feel? And what if it was safe to just feel it now? And go ahead and just let those feelings be present. Now, if you're like, mm, wait a minute, it's not me. It's somebody that I'm dating. Okay, ask yourself, what do I think they're feeling that they don't want to feel? What are they afraid of feeling? And then it might be time to have a conversation with that person and let them know, hey, I could be wrong, but it feels like maybe there's some stronger emotions on your end or deep emotions on your end that you're not feeling. And I want to talk about it because I think it might get in the way of our connection. Don't be afraid to feel the feelings now. They're actually your gateway to bigger love. Card two, elevator going up. If you pulled card two, this is the elevator going up card. So what does that mean? I want you to imagine that the love of your life, the highest version of love available is at the penthouse. Now you might not be at the penthouse right now. You might be on a lower floor, whether you're in a relationship or you're single and you're looking around at this lower floor and you're like, uh, wait a minute, this is not what I want. Is this all there is? This card is a message that no, this is not all there is. It's time for you to go up to the penthouse. There's higher love available for you. So if you're single, this message means start to envision, like if it was really that penthouse love, the top of the top, the best of the best, what would that look like for you? Who are you being on this floor maybe? And who would you need to be in order to receive that higher level love? So when this card comes to you, it's really a message. What you're seeing right now, it's not the top level. It's not what's fully available for you. So stop looking around and going, oh, is this all there is? This is how it is. This is how my love life is. It's crap, it's crap, I don't want it, it's crap. Think higher, aim higher, because when you believe higher, it's like putting that key in the elevator that takes you up, 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 up to the penthouse love. You're meant to go higher. If you're in a relationship, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to leave that relationship, but what it probably means is that the, the way the relationship is now is not the highest level of love possible for either of you. Guess what? On the penthouse, there's the rooftop pool. There's drinks with little umbrellas in them. There's sunshine. There's things that you want there, right? In that relationship. So ask yourself, if this version of the relationship isn't the highest that it could be, what would have to change or shift within me, within my partner, within how we relate with each other to go up to that penthouse style love? Card three, true love. Ah, oh, you pulled card three. It's the true love card. One of the most positive, affirmative cards in the Love Answers or card deck that you could pull. So if you pulled it, this is good news. What does it mean for you? It means the energy, the vibration of true love is here. You're vibrating at it. It's starting to match with you. Either true love is here for you right now, and this is the confirmation that you needed that yes, true love is here for you in this relationship, or it's a sign that it's coming. True love card is really about making you aware that right now you've caught the wave, you've caught the energy, vibration of true love so you're in a state where you can magnetize that in you can manifest it magnetize it maybe i should combine those words you can mag manifest it you can magnetize it you can draw it to you if it's not already here guess what vibrationally for you true love is here you could always choose to block it and say no it's not coming or why isn't it here yet or i don't believe or i'm not worthy you could always choose that and you could put yourself temporarily off that path of true love. Of course, you're always meant for it at the end of the day, but you could choose to take this card as a sign. You're vibrating, honey, you're, you're there. And so that love will come your way. If you're in a relationship, like I said, really pay attention to, do you have an intuitive feeling that this person is maybe a great love in your life or it's true love? Like really take that as a sign that there's a potential here for really great true love in this relationship. I hope you enjoyed this reading from the Love Answers 
oracle card deck. If you want this reading, you can go to Etsy or go to loveworksmethod.com to grab these cards yourself and do the reading for yourself. Every card comes with a beautiful description, a journal prompt, and a mantra to get you into that love vibration. Yeah.